some internet browser add-ons are rather dubious in nature, and some cross the line of being malware. In this video I'm going to focus on one particular add-on called Easy Auto Refresh. Now this came to my attention at work recently when I was investigating an unknown item of malware which was leaking out data from our internal intranet, and it was attributed to being this. Although I don't know what the difference is in buying the license, perhaps it means it won't spy on you. Maybe, but this is it. So I have Wireshark running on my host operating system, and everything looks okay so far. I'm just focusing on standard HTTP queries. I had to leave the video initially because the data leakage did not happen straight away. About a week or so later, it has happened, and I feel like a kid in a candy store now. I have malware on my system, and I get to play with it. So the data leakage goes to eData Sales. Now the more observant of you will notice that it goes to 192168, which will be a local area network. Indeed, I have added that website address of eData Sales to NoTrack, and that is my NoTrack DNS server, and it is sinkholing tracking domains, which this one is. So we need some data off this to read what is happening. We have quite a long winded address there, so I'm going to copy its value and we're going to paste it into something like Kate. So it goes edatasales.com forward slash SDK forward slash source ID. Now this source ID happens to be the same all the different instances that I have seen. Session ID does differ. User ID also changes version, yep. What I'm after though is this value here. What is this? Well, that is base64 encoding. So decoded, and we have uh, some more legible text here. We have HTTP, and that would be colon forward slash forward slash yahoo.co.uk. Say, what website am I on at the moment? Oh, I was on yahoo.co.uk. Ah, that's interesting, isn't it? Hmm. Let's go to something else. A non-existent domain on the internet. Oh, look, eData sales has gone again. What does it say this time, I wonder? So once again, here we are. So, yep, so that's the block of data I'm looking for there. Put that into a base64 decoder. And we have, oh, sky.tzd forward slash admin. Well, how did you know that? How did you know exactly where I was? So something is attempting to send my browsing data to a server in Hong Kong. Let's play a little game with it, shall we? So I wonder where it said I've gone this time. I expect you can guess the answer, but should we decode it? eData sales. So it's just sent the login data of me visiting to itself. <laughs> Nicely done. Nicely done. And it keeps happening over and over again. Maybe this is a bad example going to Daily Mail, but uh, let's see if we can pick it up here. It'll be, um, ah, here we go. eData sales. Odds are that's going to say Daily Mail. Funny, it hasn't picked up the rest of these URLs, so it has obviously not picked up what is on the page. It's only picking up what you, the user, are typing in. So we've seen what Easy Auto Refresh does to non-encrypted HTTP websites, but it wouldn't possibly leak any data out to visits to HTTPS encrypted websites, would it? Well, to find out, I'm going to go to the register.co.uk via a Google search. The register is HTTPS encrypted. The reason I can't actually see the visits to the register and Google within Wireshark is because I'm looking at the HTTP traffic. So what happens? Well, we have a visit to eData sales. Copy the value out again. Well, this time it's not even encoded into base64. It's outright saying that HTTPS, the register, you have literally undermined the entire security there. So anyone logging packets on my network can see exactly where I'm visiting, whether the site is encrypted or not, thanks to this add-on. You can set an auto refresh time for my pages and you can leak data like a sieve. So what happens if we remove easy auto refresh? So yes, get rid of it. Let's pick up our browsing session again. Go on to no track. No, nothing appearing afterwards. eBay. Keeps scrolling around the screen. No, nothing more. The Daily Fail. And Yahoo. 
There is no further sign of any data being sent to eData sales. Funny old thing that. So with the Easy Auto Refresh add-on removed, there is no more data leakage. The Easy Auto Refresh sends anything from the browser address bar to eDataSales.com as HTTP GET requests. And the data is passed as base64 encoding, which is just ridiculously easy to decode. If you take a look at the website, it will just display a 404 page not found. So on the server side, odds are the requests are just being logged. It is very sneaky of the add-on to delay data collection, or sending data out, because that way it's defeating any automated analysis. If you have Easy Auto Refresh as an add-on in Chrome, I recommend you delete it, or at least find some method of sinkholing any requests to eDataSales.com. I hope you found that interesting. Thanks for watching, I'll see you all later.